Welcome back to Resin Art Creations. This is part two to the ocean wall art piece. So as you can see, I've just loosely added some dried moss onto the piece just to get a visual. At this moment in time, I'm still undecided as to whether I'll be going ahead with the dried moss to add to the landscape effect. So here are the mica powders, which were added previously. There's a bright blue, there's a French blue, aqua blue and the opaque white. So as per usual, prior to starting your work, make sure that you have your spirit level on the ready to avoid the resin from sliding off the piece. I also have my small paintbrush, my heat gun, my blowtorch, my respiratory mask, paper towels and gloves. So I'm just brushing off some unwanted particles on my piece with my handy dandy paintbrush. Just before I move the dried moss, I do take a photo of the piece so I can use this as my reference image for later. And that's if I decide to go ahead with it and use it. Once again, I'm using my brush to remove any unwanted particles prior to the resin stage. Next, I lightly sand the piece using a 180 grit sandpaper. This will help the resin to stick smoothly to the surface area. Then all I do is simply clean it up with an alcohol wipe and dry it with a paper towel. So I'm just laying out my mica powders, my casting craft and my Prussian blue tinting pigment from Glass Cast. And I'm also using some alcohol inks from a company called Limono and these alcohol inks were actually purchased from Amazon.
So the resin I am using for this project is Art Resin, which is a one-to-one -one ratio resin. I'm making sure that my piece is level using my spirit level. Unfortunately, my spirit level is showing me that this is not the case. So all I do is raise one side of the board by placing lollipop sticks underneath it, and this does the trick. It's finally nice and level. As mentioned before, it's useful to have some sort of timer when working with epoxy resin. I have poured six ounces of art resin and continue to mix this up for three minutes, making sure that I'm scraping all the sides when doing so. Now you'll see me pouring a small amount of resin into each shot glass and adding in the colours and mix them up thoroughly.
I then pour in some clear resin onto the piece, warm it up with my blowtorch and spread it around on my board, making sure that it's all covered. As explained, this enables the coloured resin which I place on top to move around more easily and blend well together. So I start adding the dark colour first and spread it around with my lollipop stick and then I run my torch over it and then I add my lighter colours. Um, blending the colours does help with the transition.
I do usually mix the opaque white at the beginning to enable it to thicken and help with the creation of the cells, but in this particular case, I actually forgot. Now I'm creating the ocean waves with a casting craft white. I try not to go over the existing waves which are below because I'm trying to create depth and dimension. I use my blowtorch to warm up the resin and then go in with my heat gun and blow those waves out and then back in.
So that's layer two done. Join me next time for the third and final layer. I'm not sure whether to build up my landscape by adding in more cement or to add dry moss and sand to the piece. What do you lovely people think I should do? Do let me know in the comments box below. So until next time, look after yourselves and keep creating. Take care. Bye bye.